good morning uh beloved brothers and sisters i want to welcome you this morning once again to another life transforming prayer and i believe this prayer this morning will change our life for good especially for what we are believing god this is pastor rufus faith generation church i want to assure you that this morning as you have joined us in this prayer god will answer all and meet all your needs according to his riches in glory by christ jesus the bible speaks to us in psalm 147 verse 11 psalm 147 verse 11 the lord's favor are those who fear him and those who wait for his loving kindness i say this morning may you receive the loving kindness of god through the power of this prayer in the name of jesus as we begin to pray this morning i want to reassure you that through prayer god will restore your peace he will restore your joy the progress that you want the breakthrough that you are praying for the desire things in your life prayer changes things and prayer changes situation your circumstances your situation i believe that the power of god in this prayer will bring to pass and will bring a change that you desire by the power in the name of jesus the bible let us to understand very profoundly that god says in isaiah chapter 8 verse 17 he said and i wait for the lord who is hiding his face from the house of jacob i will even look eagerly for him so this morning i want us to understand that as we begin to ask god and pray to god that god will show up as we wait on him in our prayer god will comfort for us in the name of jesus whatever you are facing even at this time of your life i don't know what you are going through whatever it may be whether a depression or frustration it may be in your business it may be in your career whatever it may be in your family it may be a challenge concerning your pregnancy it may be a challenge concerning your destiny it could be concerning your marriage it could be on your on your children that you are facing the enemy is discouraging you but i want to reassure you this morning by the power in the name of jesus the bible make us to understand in psalm 27 verse 14 psalm 27 verse 14 he say wait for the lord and be strong beloved i want to encourage you this morning i say wait the bible says in psalm 27 verse 14 wait for the lord and be strong and let your heart take courage wait for the lord this morning as we wait upon the lord in psalm 12 verse 12 the bible says, rejoice in hope be patient in tribulation and be constant in prayer that is why this morning we have come to pray because we believe that god will answer our prayer so don't give up on yourself and i want to reassure you that god will do over and above as we begin this prayer the bible makes us to understand in psalm 55 verse 22 it says cast your burden upon the lord he will sustain you he will never permit the righteous to be moved that this morning as we begin to pray i want you to release your faith because god is about to restore to you what the enemy have stolen in your life your joy your peace your comfort that the enemy have stolen i want you to know that god will restore it will restore unto you all that the enemy have stolen by his mercy by his power and he will give you double honor for your trouble in some isaiah 61 verse 7 isaiah 61 verse 7 the bible says instead of your shame this morning i want to reassure somebody maybe you are going through shame through situation right now in your life in your marriage it may be in your family or concerning your household concerning your life the bible says, instead of your shame you shall have double honor i pray today that you will receive that double honor instead of your confusion the bible say they shall rejoice in their portion therefore in their land they shall possess double everlasting joy shall be theirs that will be your testimony in the name of jesus as we begin to pray this morning i want you to know that god is about to restore to you what the enemy have stolen so this morning i want you to whatever how you are listening to me maybe you are using your mobile phone or your cell phone or your any devices you are using find the place a quiet place find a private place where you can focus on the words of this prayer so that it can impact your spirit because when it impacts your spirit it will bring the change that you desire in the name of jesus as you know already our practice is to start every prayer with thanksgiving and to worship the king of king so this morning we are starting by giving praise to our god in philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 the bible says, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving 
with thanksgiving so we are going to praise god this morning and thank him for what he has done father we bless your name lord in heaven we give you glory ancient of days we say thank you god the i am that i am we say thank you the holy one of israel we say thank you the alpha and omega we say thank you the apostle of our confession we say thank you father we praise your name the author and the perfecter of our faith we say thank you the author of life we say thank you the awesome god father we say thank you daddy you are the balm in gilead you are our comforter the consolation of israel the consuming fire lord we praise you this morning because you are our deliverer you are the eternal god the rock of ages the everlasting father the god of light the all-sufficient one the most high god the faithful and just the faithful and true the father of light the father of mercy father we thank you because you are the hope of glory this morning we praise your name we adore your name we thank you father because you are the horn of our salvation you are our father our banner our provider our shepherd our keeper our shield our dwelling place our hiding place our refuge our fortress our strength father we praise you we give you glory we give you honor father we praise you father because there is none like you the creator of all things both visible and invisible father you alone you are god you are the first and the last there is no other god beside you this morning father we praise your name we glorify your name we bless your name we thank you father we thank you merciful father we thank you glorious father we thank you everlasting father we praise your name the creator of heaven and heart father we praise your name because you are the immortal king you are the supreme lord you are master over all the omnipresent father omnipotent father we say thank you this morning lord we praise your name we thank you awesome father we give you glory the unlimited god the unsearchable god the unmatchable god the unquestionable god the unmovable god the unfailing god father we say thank you we are so grateful we bless your name we celebrate your name we honor your name we adore your name we elevate you father we glorify you this morning we say lord be highly exalted we say thank you father our jehovah jireh the lord that provide our jehovah nissing the lord our banner our jehovah rafa the lord that healeth our jehovah Shabon, the lord of hosts our jehovah raha the lord our shepherd our jehovah shalom the lord our peace our jehovah shama the lord that is present our jehovah shidikin the lord our righteousness father we say thank you we have the boldness to come before you this morning because of the blood of jesus because of the finished work of christ on the cross of calvary father we have come to you merciful father we are say thank you this morning we praise your name you are the king over all king over the entire universe father we praise your name we thank you for this glorious morning we thank you for another day we bless your holy name father we thank you for this new day father we thank you father we praise your name because it's a beginning of a new day we say thank you father we know that all things are becoming gloriously new this morning we say thank you all things are beginning to become successful father we thank you because today is the beginning of victory for us father we say thank you it's a beginning of a new things in our life we bless your name we thank you for this month the month of divine fruitfulness in our life we say praise to be your name we praise you father we give you all the glory we give you all the honor we give you all the adoration the bible speaking first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 first thessalonians 5 18 the bible say in everything in everything give thanks for this is the will of christ jesus concerning you that is the will of god concerning us that in everything that we should give thanks this morning father we offer our praise we thank you because you are god our restorer you are going to restore us this morning so we celebrate you father we thank you for your provision we thank you for your counsel we thank you for your direction father we thank you for your protection we give you glory for your defense your fortification in our life we say lord may you be glorified this morning beloved as we begin to pray our prayer focus what the lord has laid on my heart this morning the lord has given me strongly that we should pray against every form of financial debt 
that people are going through this morning the lord has said in his word that we should stand against every financial debt that we may be facing at this time the battle you are facing financially what you are going through in your life financially i know some of us we work so hard but financially we have nothing to show for it some of us we are praying we are in debt we are overwhelmed by debt financially in our place of work concerning even our business we are bankrupted but this morning god said we should declare his word over every agenda of the enemy against our finances some of us we are living in ad in, in serious poverty that we, we are living from hand to mouth we have no saving nothing to show for it in our life we are working so hard we are working seriously but i can tell you before the end of the month you are already in red this morning god is saying we should rebuke this morning we are praying against that enemy this morning below i want you to release your faith god does not want us to live in debt that is why the bible speaks in genesis chapter 1 verse 20 that we read earlier he wants us to live in in fruitfulness he wants us to live in a life that is productive that is why this morning we are coming against every attack of the enemy on our finances when your finances are not well it will be difficult for you to serve the lord with all a peaceful heart in the name even to, to support the work of god in your life the bible speak in 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 third john one two he said beloved i pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good way and goes well with your soul also god wants us to prosper in everything in philippians chapter 4 verse 19 the bible says, and god will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in christ jesus according to his riches in glory in christ jesus so this morning we are coming against the enemy in john 10 10 god defined the works of the enemy he said he came to steal to to steal and to destroy he said the enemy come to steal to kill and to destroy he said but i have come to give life to give it abundantly i want you in your spirit man this morning i want you to pray this morning along with me and i want you to agree with this words of this prayer that god to turn around your finance your finances in the name of jesus when the finances are down definitely is going to affect your spirit so this morning we are going to come against every attack on our finances that is affecting and militating the progress of god in our life father this morning we decree and declare the bible speaking in proverbs chapter 10 22 it said the blessings of the lord they make it rich and they had no sorrow to it father we stand on this word father we decree this morning every enemy color side in Kenusa that is attacking our finances attacking your job attacking your business that would does not want you to prosper according to the word of God the Bible declared to us very profoundly in Proverbs chapter 22 verse 7 in Proverbs 10 22 before Proverbs 22 7 the Bible speaking 10 22 I want you to call this revelation the Bible said the blessings of the Lord they make it rich and had no sorrow Lika father we terminate everything that is causing sorrow concerning your finances Lord this morning we say Lord they are terminated father we say they are terminated by the mercies of heaven father we break and lose ourselves I say this morning my brothers and sisters as many of you that are living in financial debt financial debt have overwhelmed your life you don't know the way forward I say this morning I decree by the own sons of God by the name of Jesus the Bible speaks in Revelation 12 11 it say we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony father we decree according to your word I say I break and I lose you from every case of financial bondage that the enemy has subject your life to in the name of Jesus every case of financial poverty 
I said this morning, Father, we say they are terminated by the mercies of heaven. Somebody, you are hearing me this morning. You look into your life. There is nothing to show for it. Financially, you are down. But the Bible told us very profoundly. Ah, Lipo Roko Tokolia. In Proverbs 10 22, he said, The blessings of the Lord, they make it rich and they had no sorrow to him. I say, Poverty, I say, Death, they are sorrowful. Liga Basaka Yatin. Ah, Father, I pray. Libron Takalio. E Blalino Sokoto Koriandin. I say this morning, every bondage of poverty, every bonding of financial debt that you may be passing through this morning, we say this morning, we pronounce on it and we decree. We say, Lord, they are terminated. We lose their hold, we lose their grip in the name of Jesus. I say, somebody this morning, I want you to connect your faith. Oh, because the Lord says we should break every financial bondage, every financial shame of evil that the enemy have tied you into every poverty that is waging war against your moving forward this morning thou does not want you to be fruitful in life this morning we pray father we lose your hold we lose your hold we lose your hold i say this morning i say consciously and unconsciously any covenant of spirit of poverty that you have signed that is working against your destiny i said this morning father we terminate them the bible says if the son of man shall set you free he said you shall be free indeed baliga saili ketelia ilima soiri kabrahanti kila baye ketelia liba son sabaya lika saili ketelia lara santo karahande kenufra i said this morning i decree by the power in the blood of jesus and I say from this hour, every spirit of poverty, every spirit of financial debt, oh, Kalabraha Kalahorente, that is affecting your life. It has affected your marriage. It has affected your relationship. It has affected your finances. Oh, Lipa Sakayati. It has affected your business. Oh, you cannot move forward. You have ideas, but you cannot execute because there is financial debt everywhere. Father, I command that spring i cast them out in the name of jesus i release the fire of the holy ghost to destroy every link every chain every connection with the spirit of death in your life because death is a spirit oh somebody may be asking how do you know that is a spring the bible says to all very profoundly in proverbs chapter 22 verse 7 he said the rich rules over the poor and the borrower is a slave to the lender i want you to understand it this morning the moment you begin to borrow you become a slave that spirit that the enemy is using to torment your finances i said this morning by the power in the name of jesus i lose your hold i terminate them i say father we release angels of god on your behalf to set you free by the power in the name of Jesus, the Lord lose every hold, every shame that has gripped your finances that will not allow you to move forward because where you are in debt, there is no way you can move forward. We say this morning by the power in the name of Jesus, the Lord set you free, the Lord set you free, the Lord set you free, the Lord set you free in the name of Jesus. The Bible talks to us. In Proverbs 10 22, the Bible said, The blessings of the Lord they make a rich. I pray this morning, I pronounce upon you the blessings from heaven that the portal be open unto your finances. The way out of your debts, may the Lord begin to give you ideas, may the Lord begin to send you a power of destiny, may the epa of destiny begin to come your way in the name of Jesus. Lika Sakoto Kurahandi, Meneke Teli Balakaya Kutolia, Lipa Karaka Sakayakata. Oh, Father, we pray that the Lord will arise this morning and every enemy of your financial breakthrough may them be scattered we command them to be scattered in the name of Jesus every altar speaking against your finances every diabolical power working against your finances every spirit on assignment that the enemy has set loose against your finances that will not allow you to make headway some of you you even struggle to pay your tithes you even struggle to give offering in your churches 
I pray this morning, the Lord make a way for you. Liga Sakaya Kutunian. It is not the plan of God. It is not in the plan of God that you should live in poverty. God says, go and be fruitful and multiply. I say this morning, Kaliga Sakayati, because we are in the month of fruitfulness. I pray this morning, may the Lord scatter every spirit that is tormenting your finances in the name of Jesus. I pray that this morning, the Lord will release upon you all the spirit of favor. May He come upon you concerning your finances in your business, in your workplace, in the name of Jesus. Some of you, you are overseen. You live in overseen, but you have nothing to show where you are working, what you have been doing for years. You have no saving. You are in debt. You are accumulating debt over debt. I am praying whatever has come in your dream to attack your finances. I say from this hour that the Lord terminate their work in the name of Jesus. The Lord terminate their plan in the name of Jesus. I pray may the Lord restore to you every wasted years. Lata Sakara handing. Lipa Kakuraka Babaya. Lipa Sakaya Kotolia. Mene Kotoli Malakayaka. Heavy Divora. That the enemy has set loose against your finances. I said this morning, by the power in heaven, may them be scattered in the name of Jesus. Le Poso Koto Kabarababa. Li Kasakara Handi. Mene Kotoli Balakaya Kutulian. No Divora is permitted to waste your life, to waste your finances. I Kabasaka Yatin. Anything in you, Lord, that in you that is cooperating, anything in your life, anything in your family, in that business, in that your job, cooperating with the spirit of Divora against your life. I said this morning, Father, we break them off. We lose the connection in the name of Jesus. I said this morning, any ignorance that is preventing you from seeing the glory of God that will not allow you to make way. Because the Bible told us very profoundly, in Deuteronomy chapter 8, 18, Deuteronomy chapter 8, 18, the Bible says, you shall remember the Lord your God, for he is he who give you power to get well, that he may confirm his covenant, his covenant, his covenant he has sworn unto your father, I pray, that the covenant of God, the covenant of Jehovah, the king of kings, the covenant of prosperity, he fall upon your finances, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, paka seketelia, li paka rahande, mene ketelia balakaya kutulian, every negative dream, that you have had, that where your, your finances have been attacked, I said this morning, every spirit of dryness, every spirit of famine that has come into your life, causing you not to prosper in your finances. I said this morning, we lose their hold, we terminate 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 their hold, by the power in the name of Jesus. Father, we unseat every power that is sitting on your harvest, that will not allow you to harvest and retain your harvest. I said, Father, by fire of the Holy Ghost, Father, we unseat them. Every spirit that is sitting on your on your harvest, I say this morning, li kapaya katakura handing, li basun sheke bayanting, e kuri aite kelifra, i dilante kenufra helima sighting, li bra aite kelifra halakiza. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Bible say we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. I say every spirit of divora that have been assigned against your destiny, against your finances, Father, we lose their hold. Every covenant of profitless effort in the name of Jesus. Every covenant of a fruitless effort that is working against your finances this morning, they say they are destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. They are destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. They are destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I pray this morning, every waster, every devourer, every emptier, every spoiler, I stand against your life. This morning, we lose your hold. We lose your hold against your business. This morning, I pray. Every power assigned to we told your harvest that will not allow you to celebrate. I said this morning, Father, we terminate their hold. We cancel the activity. We say from this hour, by the power in the name of Jesus. I said from this day, they are not working anymore. We terminate the activity. Every instrument, every power militating against the fulfillment and the upliftment of your finances. We say for today, the Father, we lose their hold. Power that will assign to you to embarrass you, to disgrace you financially. I say from this thing, to put you to shame. I said today, Lord, we lose their hold. We terminate their works in the name of Jesus. Makasaka 
Kababan. I say, make the Lord, may He rewrite your story in the name of Jesus. I say, from this hour, La Pakatokura Handing. I say, from this hour, Li Pakarata, every power monitoring your financial breakthrough. I say to them, the Lord destroy them, the Lord blindfold them in the name of Jesus. Li Pakatokura Ba, Eli Masaya, Keli Brakaski Keriandi, Ekuli Prahali Kadaskian. Father, we decree every magnet of poverty pulling your life towards poverty. I say today, the Lord demagnetize them in the name of Jesus. We lose their hope, we lose their power from this hour of hope. Lord. I pray, may you walk in fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I say, may the joy of fruitfulness may it come your way, may it come your way by the message of heaven in the name of Jesus. Every demonic spirit sharing your money in the realm of the spirit, we say, Father, we say, Lord, Father, we terminate them this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, I command every canker one in your finances. May sure receive fire. I say, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. Every canker one in your finances, destroy your finances. I say, this morning, receive fire. Every arrow of devourer that the enemy has fired against your finances, some of you are not to you in your dream. They have, they have given you arrows, arrows against your finances. No matter how hard you work, things does not accumulate. Things does not come together. I, I said this morning, every yoke of financial holocaust in your life, they are broken. They are broken. They are broken by the power in the name of Jesus. I decree freedom in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, if the Son of Man shall set you free, that you shall be free indeed. I am praying. I say from this hour, every prayer Principality, every power working against your success and your financial breakthrough by the mercy of heaven, they are terminated. Every debt in your life, I say by the Lord, the Lord set you free, 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 the Lord set you free in the name of Jesus. I say from this hour, begin to walk out of the realm of the poverty, begin to walk out spiritually out of the realm of the poverty, wherever you have been caged in the poverty realm. I said, Now the Lord break loose every gate. You are set free. You are set free. You are set free by the power in the name of Jesus. Angels are being released right now. I say you moving out of that poverty. You are walking in your fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. You are crossing the line like a saka You are coming. You are crossing the line of financial failure into the lands of financial abundance. I see you crossing the line. I see you in the realm of the spirit. You are crossing the line from financial failure into the land of financial abundance abundance in the name of jesus it is happening it is happening i want you to receive it receive it now receive it now receive it now by the power in the name of jesus oh kaseke rababa hili kayakatalian i command i say your entire of your finances oh lipa sakayan that the enemy has had I say from today, whether locally or abroad, I say may it be released right now in the name of Jesus. Every barrier, Kalabasaka Yakutulian, to your financial breakthrough, they are broken, they are broken, they are broken, to your financial prosperity, they are broken in the name of Jesus. You are moving forward financially, you are moving forward. Every effort of the wickedness against your finances, the Lord terminates them in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness against your finances. The Lord's termination in the name of Jesus. I said this morning, may your hand be anointed. May your hand be anointed for financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus. The financial breakthrough that will take you out of that financial debt. I said, may your hand this morning, may he be anointed. May he be anointed. May he be anointed. May he be anointed. I see an angel standing next to you, anointing your hand. Every evil mark of poverty, evil mark of financial debt, the angels are not in your hand right now. They are not in your hands right now. In the name of Jesus, I see you be anointing. I see you be anointing. Ikabayaka, you will not labor in vain. You will not labor in vain. From today upward, lako si kabayate. Libra kayakutulia. Your feet shall not run dry of water. In the name of Jesus, I say from today, palakayakatalian. Your feet, we shall never run dry of water. In the name of Jesus, I say your bank account shall see an overflow. In the name of Jesus, pakatokurababa. Likarakatalian.
kayaking because your head and your hand and be anointed for all around prosperity in the name of Jesus. You are a child of the king. You are a child of the king. The unlimited God. I say you have been anointed for supernatural favor this morning in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you go concerning your finances, I pray you shall meet with favor. You shall meet with favor. That business that is in debt, every debt you have accumulated in your business, I say from today, they not make a way for you. They not make a way for you. They not make a way for you. In the name of Jesus, it is your time. It is your season for financial breakthrough to come. Your time and your season of financial dryness is over. It 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 is over. Receive that in the name of Jesus. I say and I pronounce it. I command this morning and I decree. The Bible says I will decree a thing and it shall be established. I decree into your life financial buoyancy in the name of Jesus. I say I decree this morning that from today you are financial giant. Your ways are opening. Doors are opening. I say you elevated in the name financially in the name of Jesus. I see you enjoying divine increase, divine increase, fruitfulness, productivity in the name of Jesus. Today is your day of blessing. Today is your day of blessing. Today is your day of blessing. You shall be decorated with material and financial blessing in the name of Jesus. Monies are coming your way. Monies are coming your way. In the name of Jesus. Miracle monies are coming. Miracle monies are coming. Miracle monies are coming. Miracle monies are coming. As you make effort, the Lord is opening door for you. They are opening door for you. The Lord is opening door for you. In the name of Jesus, I want to decree as many of you that you are paying your tithe. Ah, Kaligo Sekete Yakabalia. Libra Katakurhandi. I stand on the word of God in Malachi 3:10. The Bible says, Bring all tithe into my house so that I shall be me. Some of you have been paying your tithe in your churches. La Sakaya, I decree into your life and I stand on the word of God. The Bible says, Bring all tithe into my house, that there may be meat in my house. He said, Test me with this. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven, I command into your life. I say, Every tithe payer, Kali Gosiatin, that is listening to me, wherever you are paying your tithe, I decree concerning that tithe. And I say, Lord, that this morning, let the Lord remember that tithe. Let the windows of heaven be open. Financial breakthrough. Let the doors be open. Financial success over your business. He come by fruitfulness. Let the windows be open for you. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, I will pour you a blessing. There shall be no room to receive it. I decree. I see God. I see heaven open over your life this morning. I see blessing coming. Blessing coming. Ideas coming. Breakthrough coming. In the name of Jesus. I say receive it. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, I will re I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Father, I pray, let the angels of God be dispatched on behalf of my sisters and brother that have been diligent. Ah, many years they've been paying their tithes. Oh, Liga Sakaya. They do not deserve this suffering. I say this morning, may the Lord rebuke because of your giving. May the Lord rebuke every devourer. Every devourer in your life. Devourer in your family. Devourer in your finances. Devourer in your health. I say because of your giving. Because of the reasons of your giving. May the Lord rebuke every devourer. Every devourer. Every devourer. They are rebuke. They are rebuke. They are rebuke. They are rebuke. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. We terminate the whole this morning. And we say from this hour. Liga Sakayatin. The Bible says you shall be called blessing. You shall become a blessing. Oh, I say for today, you are becoming a blessing because the windows are open. The windows are open for you. Your portals are open. Your timeline are open. In the name of Jesus, it is your turn to celebrate. It is your turn to celebrate. It is your turn to live in abundance. In the name of Jesus, it is not a sin to be prosperous as a child of God. It is not a sin to be prosperous. I say from today, they not open your doors because of his kingdom sake in the name of Jesus doors are opening 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 in the name of Jesus father we give you glory Lord in heaven we praise your name we thank you the patient of this Lord we worship you because of your word the Bible talks to us very profoundly in Proverbs 10 22 the blessings of the Lord they make it rich and had no sorrow I decree that our blessing shall flow into your life in the name of Jesus in Luke 6 38 
The Bible says, Give, and it shall be given to you. For many of you, you have given. You gave a lot to God. You gave a lot to the work of God. I pray this morning that this morning, the Bible says, Good measure. I pray, Good measure. Good measure shall flow into your life, into your family. Press down, shaking together, running over. Oh, Lipa Raka, you flow into your hand. In the name of Jesus. Lipa Saka Takuriandi. Ipa Papa Rosso Takuriandi. So shall it be for you. Our Father, we bless your name. We give you glory. We give you honor. We praise you, the ancient of this, for what you have done this morning. May your name forever be praised. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we are prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Beloved, this morning, I know that God is working out something great for you. I don't want you to lose your heart concerning that financial debt you may be experiencing right now, maybe in your life, in your career, in your, in your business. But be rest assured that God is working out the answer for you this morning. I want you to meditate on that Proverbs chapter 10. Please, I want you to meditate on that word. The blessings of the Lord. Proverbs 10, 22. Blessings of the Lord, they make it rich and had no sorrow. Oh, begin to meditate on that and see how God begin to make way for you. The Lord will send you a power of destiny in the name of Jesus. God bless you for listening and I want you please to share this prayer. If you know anyone that are having financial challenge at this moment they are in debt they could not explain they didn't even know how they come about the debt he has been working before but the bible says when men slept he said the enemy came to show tears among the wheat i want you to understand when when enemy comes in he comes in subtly and it causes a lot of destruction please share this prayer with many as many as possible that you know may be going through a serious financial problem that god can set them free by the words of this prayer in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God bless you as you do so. Please remember to thumbs up this prayer if it has blessed you. Father, I want you to thumbs it up if this prayer has blessed you. Please thumbs it up, click like, and if you want to subscribe also, if maybe you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you, my sisters and brothers, to subscribe to this channel. God bless you as you do so. Live in fruitfulness and all your debts have been wiped away by the message of God. The doors are opening in Jesus' name. God bless you.